Hello everyone. Animals in the wild face an unimaginable amount of difficulties every day. Their whole life is a real endurance race, and unfortunately not all of them survive it. Some animals die in the clutches of predators, others are killed by people or by the consequences of our actions. Still, others are victims of some fatal circumstances that are difficult to predict and almost impossible to prevent. And even though good people are struggling to deal with this, unfortunately that's just the way it is. Today we're going to show you some animals that nature has treated very, very unfairly. Let's get it on. Winter is a dangerous time for all living beings for a huge number of reasons. First, it's cold, but wild animals deal with it with their thick hair. Second, there's not enough food. And thirdly, any relatively deep lake or river can turn into a deadly trap created by nature itself. The world learns about the sad story of this young deer, thanks to the news on an American TV channel. The rescue team found the frozen, emaciated animal early in the morning in a pond south of Buffalo. Judging by its condition, the deer fell into the water with one foot at night or in the evening, and then spent many hours trying to break free. The rescue operation was complicated by the fragility of the ice. People risked their own lives trying to get to the animal in trouble. Fortunately, the deer was rescued from the ice trap. Before releasing it, rescuers made sure the animal wasn't hurt. Another story with a happy ending was shown in June 2016 by a news channel from the American city of Pittsburgh. A baby spotted deer got in trouble in Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. During the flood, the river overflew its banks and most likely washed away the young deer. It could have drowned, but fortunately, some people managed to save it. Unfortunately, no matter how much you try, it's impossible to save all animals. Apparently, this deer once fell into a crevice between the rocks. It was too narrow to get out and too high to jump out. The poor baby was found a bit too late. The story of this baby sloth could end just as deplorably if it weren't for a man named Dirk Morgan. In January 2018, the man was walking on the beach of Costa Rica when he stumbled upon an animal stuck between the rocks. Where's your mommy? The sloth was squeaking plaintively, and there were no traces of an adult animal nearby. Apparently, the baby got stuck at night when a storm broke out. It couldn't get out on its own, and it could have died in a matter of hours, because during the tides, the rocks end up underwater. Fortunately, Dirk was able to rescue the baby sloth carefully. It was cleaned of salt water, sand, and then transferred to an animal rescue center. In the pictures taken after the rescue, the baby looks tired, but happy. In the conditions of hot Africa, bathing is almost the only way for the animals to cope with extremely high temperatures. We all understand that there can be predators waiting, but sometimes danger lurks where you least expect it. A bath in a pit of mud didn't end well for this young elephant. He turned out to be too small to overcome its slippery sloping sides. And although the mother elephant tried to help her calf, she did not succeed. But fortunately, a rescue team came to help. If you think that to rescue an elephant from a natural trap is very simple, then you're grossly mistaken. Because first, the mother elephant interfered with the operation because she didn't understand what was going on. The rescue team even had to split up. One car was driving the adult elephant from the pit. Secondly, don't be misled by the fact that it was a baby elephant. A newborn calf weighs almost 100 kilograms, and the weight of this grown baby was even bigger. People had to hurry. It was necessary to rescue the elephant before his mother freaked out. The situation was getting worse by the minute because the frightened kid screamed plaintively and his mother, who was nearby, heard it. But it is a happy ending story and the elephant still managed to get out. Residents of Polk County, Wisconsin, on Saturday morning of October 2014, were concerned about the heart-staring cries of an animal, which were heard from the forest. That's when the local firefighters had to go on probably the most unusual task of their lives. They had to rescue little bears from a natural trap. Locals who decided to follow the sound found a huge old tree with a hole with a bear's head sticking out of it. According to assumptions, two bears climbed the old rotten tree and accidentally fell 
fell inside. Too small to climb up the trunk and too weak to dig a big hole in the solid bark, they got stuck. It was then that people heard their pitiful cries. Rescuers didn't come up with anything better than to cut two large holes in the trunk. When the work was completed, the babies immediately got out and disappeared between the trees. Apparently, they went searching for their mother. We've already told you that winter is a very difficult time for animals. The news piece that was shown by the British Channel 4 News in March 2013 is another proof of that. That year, the UK was hit by an incredibly heavy snowfall. Bad weather paralyzed transport links and caused great damage to agriculture. Almost half a hundred sheep belonging to farmer Gareth Wynne Jones in North Wales, in the town of Llanfair Fecan, ended up buried under a layer of snow so huge that they had no chance to save themselves. Moreover, the snowfall raged so much that, looking at the endless snow desert, it was difficult even to assume that somewhere under it there were living beings. The rescue operation was incredibly difficult. Some sheep had to spend about three days under the snow. The animals were found with the help of dogs. Then they had to gid randomly and hope that they were still alive. Taking this one out, can you see? There she is. Fortunately, people managed to save almost all the sheep. Morning at the Thornbury Farm in Chester County in Pennsylvania usually began with feeding horses. However, one day in October 2016, a worker noticed one animal was missing. It was an 18-year-old horse named Cyrus. It was brought to the farm just a few months ago. Having gone on searches, workers found out that the animal fell and then got stuck in a huge mud hole. They couldn't even imagine how difficult it would be to rescue the animal, whose weight reached 600 kilograms. At first, people tried to pull out the frightened horse on their own. Dozens of people helped. The most important problem was that horses, by their nature, can't stay in a lying position for more than six hours in a row. Two heavy bones squeeze the chest, which can lead to a pulmonary edema. The clock was ticking. And that is why, in the end, it was decided to use an auto crane. The horse was sedated and then finally pulled out of the mud. This story, told by the ABC channel in January 2015, is somehow similar to the story of the horse Cyrus. However, the protagonist of this story is a 450 kilogram bull named Woolly. He too was brought to a new farm just a few months before, and he too fell victim to a natural trap, just like Cyrus. Woolly got stuck in a huge pit filled with liquid mud. The unfortunate animal was held in captivity, with no chance of escape for almost five hours before it was found. It was impossible to say the creature without special equipment, so they used an excavator. However, this is not just surprising. Large animals like bulls and horses are too heavy for people to pull them out on their own. Fortunately, Woolly was rescued. He was tired and cold, but his life was no longer in danger. This story took place back in 1985. However, it was recorded so we can watch it today. Tor Bay is a popular British holiday destination, known by some as the English Riviera. It was here that a lost moose started walking on the surface of the lake and then fell in the water. For several hours, the animal was desperately trying to get out of its ice imprisonment, but gradually it lost all of its strength, and in the end, the moose just gave up. The animal had little chance to survive, but at the right moment, it was noticed by some children, who called some grown-ups for help. You might think that rescuing a moose with a helicopter shouldn't be too difficult, but in reality it was harder than these people thought. It seemed that the moose had already been saved, but when they dragged it out and were going to put it on the solid surface nearby, it fell in the water again. It became clear that the only way to save the animal was to lift it and move it away from the water. This is exactly what these good people did in the end. And here it is, the rescued moose, escaping from his rescuers alive and unharmed. It is difficult and scary to imagine how this unfortunate dog ended up on a mini iceberg in the winter, surrounded by endless waters. The dog couldn't reach the shore. It was too cold and too far. However, the dog was lucky. It was noticed by a group of Russian fishermen. One man, risking his health, rushed into the icy water to save the animal. Amazingly, during the operation, the dog didn't fall into the water. This is what we call a miracle. 
the last animal that we're going to show you today became the victim of a trap we already saw. Now we can safely assume that the main natural threat to domestic and wild animals is water, ice, dirt, and everything related with it. This Brangus cow spent almost 10 hours in the water before being found and rescued. The incident occurred in January 2010 near the city of Dickinson, Texas. A local resident was walking along the river when she saw a cow acting weirdly. Fortunately, she decided to dial 911 and thus save the life of the animal. Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 